we will first learn to calculate a one-way chi-square test with the assumption of randomness, the goodness of fit with random expected values, what I'm going to call no preference. In other words, if sodas are chosen randomly, that means there's no preference for the type of soft drink. The trick with a chi-square is always finding the expected frequency. In this example of randomness or no preference, what we will do is take the total number of options and divide that into the total number of people choosing among those options. So we could make it simple and say, if there's six types of soft drinks, then each type of drink should be chosen one sixth of the time. That's if everything is occurring randomly. Now, to put that into mathematics, the E, the expected value, is N divided by K. So we would take the total number of people choosing, divide by 6. That's how many people should choose each type of soft drink each time around. Now, this is the default strategy for a chi-square. So here is our example. A family of bears wants to know which of their chairs is most comfortable. They ask a classroom of 120 red-cloaked schoolgirls to sit in the three chairs and say which one they prefer. The distribution follows. Do the data indicate any significant preferences among the three chairs? So what we find is that Papa Bear's chair was chosen as most comfortable 27 times, Mama Bear's chair was chosen 41 times, and Baby Bear's chair was chosen 52 times. Well, let's run a chi-square on these data and find out what we learn. Number one, what is the appropriate statistic for this test? The one-way chi-square. What will be our null and alternative hypothesis? Well, the null should be something about randomness. The alternative should be the opposite. So, the null hypothesis is that the chairs are chosen randomly. Notice how I used the word random and I kind of customized it to this particular research question. The alternative, chairs are not chosen randomly. Our level of significance, well, how many degrees of freedom do we have? Well, how many chairs are there? Three chairs, that leaves us with two degrees of freedom. Our alpha should be set at 0 0.05, so with an alpha of 0 0.05 and 2 degrees of freedom, we would go to our chi-square table at the back of our notes and see what is the critical value. 5.99. Now we're ready to calculate the statistics. The easiest way to do this calculation is just to set up the numbers in a table. So we take each of the values put them into what I'm going to call the O column, which I've labeled as number one. And now we need to fill in the expected values. The expected value is N divided by K. We had 120 red cloaked schoolgirls who chose among three chairs. The expected value for each chair should be 40 or 120 divided by three. Our next step is to, choose, is to calculate O minus E, observed minus expected. So we take each observed value, subtract from it the expected value. If it's negative, include the negative sign. 27 minus 40 is negative 13. 41 minus 40 is 1. And 52 minus 40 is 12. Now we get to the squaring. In column 4, Square the value that is in column 3, remembering that when you square a negative, it becomes positive. 13 squared is 169. 1 squared is 1, and 12 squared is 144. Finally, we divide each number in column 4 by the value in column 2. Now, in this case, the value in column 2 is the same, so we'll just divide each number in column 4 by 40. In our next example, the values in the E column will be different. So the better practice is just to start with a value in column four, divide it by the column, by the value in column two. That gives us the value that we'll put into our remaining column, O minus E squared divided by E. 169 divided by 40, 
4.225. 1 divided by 40, 0 0.025. And 144 divided by 40, 3.6. The chi-square test is the sum of all of the O minus E squared divided by E values. We now have O minus E squared divided by E in a column. So our last step is let's add them up. 4.225 plus 0 0.025 plus 3.6 adds up to 7.85. That is the chi-square for these data. Let's go back to our five steps. The critical value that we were looking for was 5.99. We calculated a chi-square value of 7.85. So, how do you make a decision? Is 7.85 over the fence, further away, in the critical region? And the answer is yes. So we will reject the null hypothesis that the chairs are chosen randomly and instead embrace the alternative hypothesis that the chairs are not chosen randomly. Our chi-square with two degrees of freedom equals 7.85, probability less than 0 0.05. And that is how we do a chi-square goodness of fit test for a situation of randomness or no preference.